a terrorist attack in London's Piccadilly Circus. Children surviving airstrikes, then being forced to fight soldiers to survive. Find the gun, and if you get scared, use the phone to distract them. Some sections of the latest Call of Duty game, Modern Warfare, read like a catalogue of controversy. What's the plan? Shock and awe. That's not how the game's developers see it, though. We're not doing anything for the sheer shock value of it. We are telling a story about characters who are thrown into conflict. There are going to be controversial moments. There are going to be moments that are, um, that are uncomfortable. That'll get their attention. Rebooting one of the franchise's most popular outings, Modern Warfare, the series ingredients remain the same. A first-person shooter where the player adopts the role of several different soldiery types, engaging in a globe-trotting campaign, acquiring guns, grenades, and gruff one-liners. This is crazy. Get down! Yeah, but we're a little crazy, aren't we? It's all inbound. Fan favorite character, SAS officer Captain Price returns, offering guidance and instruction in a story involving chemical weapons, Middle Eastern militias, and Russian invasions. Were the gloves off? They're off. This year's outing is distinctly darker in tone than recent editions of the series, with its developers, Infinity Ward, claiming many of the game's themes have been ripped from the headlines. Is a game where the primary mechanic is, is shooting stuff, is that the, the sort of the best method of exploring some of these ideas and issues? No one asks if a film like Sicario should exist. No one asks if a film like Joker should exist. These are mature stories uh, delving deep into subjects about the human experience. And video games has a way of telling these stories in a way that's more um, immersive than linear media. Modern Warfare 2019 attempts to explore the complicated nature of contemporary conflict. And it's true, it's the kind of material mined by movies for decades. So why shouldn't games tackle similar subject matter? I don't think we should steer away from what stories that video games can tell. There's not specific genres and specific stories of, of morals that people can tell. People can experience all things through video games. People can laugh, cry, be afraid, feel war, see these morally grey areas that are depicted so strongly. While previous outings have often allowed the player to step into the combat boots of Western special forces types, this time out one of the game's lead characters is a Middle Eastern woman, Commander Farah Kareem. Let's move. We have to cut the roof up at the pass. I think it's very important to have that character. I mean, like, Taylor has said, our director has said, that he's, she's based on real-life uh, Kurdish female fighters that are out there. It's the reality of the world. It's what's happening out there. These women exist, so why not tell their story? I'm hoping that it opens players' minds. Most war stories are about soldiers, Western soldiers usually, going over there into some far off land. But what about the people for whom the far off land is their home? And aren't they the ones paying the greatest price in the wars that we have today? It's a young Farah Kareem who survives an airstrike and then must evade a Russian soldier before killing him with any sharp weapon she can get her hands on. It's a gruesome mission, one which I was more than a little uncomfortable playing. I think if you were just playing a game that was made up of these controversial, uncomfortable moments, you wouldn't have a very good time. So I think there's this interesting balance that the game can bring to shed light on these areas. In pure gaming terms, Modern Warfare 2019 is a return to form for the series, which has been in the doldrums of late. But it's definitely a title which often feels like it's stomping through a moral minefield rather than treading softly and carefully in order to examine the nature of modern warfare. Hell yeah!